here is another example here he's asking us to find the state equation and output equation okay so there are two inputs here i have u1 which is a current another input u2 is another current okay and he's also give us two outputs one is voltage across one ohm y1 another one is current passing through the two ohm resistor y2 so in this circuit we have two inputs and two outputs now um, always choose the state variables as the voltage drop across capacitor and current passing through the inductor so i chose x1 as one state variable and x2 current passing through the inductor as another state variable now x1 so i'm going to use the nodal analysis in this case so i'm going to ground this so can i say the voltage at this point as x1 because at this node and this node there is x1 voltage uh, potential difference is x1 so uh, x1 minus 0 equal to x1 so the voltage at this point i can choose that as x1 now another node here i'm going to choose the voltage at that node as um at that node as v2 okay now at x1 apply kcl so u1 is coming in i1 is going out i2 is going out x2 is going out so i u1 equal to i1 plus i2 plus x2 now your state equation must have only terms x1 x2 and u i1 and i2 are two unknown variables we need to we need to replace those i1 and i2 with x1 and x2 so here i1 i can say i1 is the current passing through that one ohm i1 is nothing but x1 over one ohm so i1 is good now i2 i2 is the current passing through the capacitor can i say the voltage drop across capacitor is nothing but one over c integral of i2 dt so i2 equal to c times x1 dot so i chose c is half farad so if i substitute that um, u1 equal to x1 plus half x1 dot plus x2 so if i rearrange that then i end up with x1 dot equal to minus 2x1 minus 2x2 plus 2u1 this is one of the state equation now to to get the other equation at v2 at v2 apply kcl so x2 is coming in u2 is also coming in y2 is going out so x2 plus u2 equal to y2 and y2 is nothing but the current passing through the two ohms which is v2 over 2 but i cannot have v2 which is unknown variable i need to replace that v2 with something else so what i'm going to do here is an inductor i know this is x2 here is v2 and here is x1 so can i say x1 minus v2 equal to voltage drop across inductor which is l times di by dt so l times x2 dot okay so basically dx by dt i'm indicating that as x dot if i put it as x1 x1 dot okay so that's how i wrote um so the voltage drop across inductor is x1 minus vt equal to l times x2 dot times x2 okay now i'm going to replace this v2 uh, v2 equal to x1 minus l times x2 dot so i'm going to substitute l equal to 1 over 4 now i'm going to substitute this v2 value um, here okay so i end up with x2 dot equal to 4x1 minus 8x2 minus 8u that's my another state equation now output equation i want y1 in terms of x1 x2 and u so y1 equal to can i say the voltage between these two points is same as the voltage here so i can choose y1 equal to y1 equal to x1 so that's how my first uh, output equation and y2 here y2 equal to x2 current is coming in u2 current is coming in can say y2 equal to x2 plus u2 so i have two state equation two output equations so 
let me write it down i have x2 dot and x1 dot equal to minus 2x1 minus 2x2 plus 2u1 this is my x1 dot so i have x2 dot and x1 dot uh, that's what i copied x1 dot equal to minus 2x1 minus 2x2 plus 2u1 i just copied this right there okay so now so from these two equations x dot equal to x1 dot x2 dot so i'm going to write down the x1 and x2 constants minus 2 minus 2 4 minus 8 x1 tan x1 and x2 plus u term i have only u1 in the first equation so 2 times 2 u1 plus 0 u2 and and uh, second second equation has only u2 term so first u1 i can put as 0 0 u1 so all i did x2 uh, or x1 dot equal to minus 2x1 minus 2x2 plus 2u1 plus 0 u2 and same way x2 dot equal to 4x1 minus 8x2 minus 8 um, 0 let me put as 0 u1 So that's my x1 dot and x2 dot. Okay, so from these two equations, that's how I wrote this in the matrix format. And same way, y equal to y1 and y2. Uh, y1 has only x1 term, so I can put x2 term as 0, x2 plus 0, u1 and 0, u2. Okay, that's how I end up with. And y2 equal to, I have x2 and u2 and i can put 0 uh, u1 plus 0 x1 so that's in the matrix format so it's a state equation and output equation um, probably in next few videos i will explain how to convert or how to define transfer function by using the state equation and output equation thank you